Although Gatlinburg is a quaint town nestled in a valley surrounded by the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, it is an ever-growing city. No matter when you visit Gatlinburg, you are sure to find something new to see and do. Everything from new restaurants to new and innovative attractions. There are so many new things to experience that you'll need to plan accordingly to see everything Gatlinburg has to offer. We moved to the area a little over two years ago, but myself and Brittany have been coming here since our childhoods. It has always been a dream of mine to spend as much time here as possible. I remember riding in the back seat of our car as a child, waiting to see the area's attraction billboards on 411, and later anxiously awaiting the big brown Great Smoky Mountains National Park sign on I-40. It's an amazing experience now to live in this place we love and watch our children grow up here. So with all that said, we will present the new things you will find in Gatlinburg for your 2023 summer vacation and what's to come in the near future. Try to catch me howling at the moon. We're going to start this list at Ober Mountain, formerly Ober Gatlinburg. New for 2023 at Ober is their new downhill mountain biking trails. Biking will be available for anyone ages 5 and up. Bike area tickets, hour and a half lessons, and bike rentals will be $49 a piece. Helmets and pads will come in at $29, and a season pass is $2.99, which includes parking. The trails will be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. seven days a week. The chairlift will take you straight to the top of the trails to avoid any uphill climbs. Remember, helmets and pads are required. If you don't have your own, they are available to rent. Ober has been thoughtful to all riders, so whether you're a seasoned vet looking to fine tune your technique or a beginner eager to learn the ropes, their experienced instructors are there to help. Be aware that while the season pass does cover parking, it does not cover bike rentals. If you plan to bring your own bike, Ober encourages you to use their mountaintop Very parking nice. area instead of riding the tram with your bike. All bikes must have disc brakes and be larger than 24 inches with one form of suspension. All riders must wear a properly fitted helmet and be under 300 pounds. Uphill travel is not allowed on the trails. Neither is alcohol, tobacco, food, or drink. Man, that step down is great. Ober has crafted 11 trails with a variety of different levels of difficulties. These include names such as the beginner level Easy Street to the difficult Hellbender. There are also two terrain parks and a viewing area. According to their website's frequently asked questions section, the mountain biking season will last until around the fall season, but also states that as this is a new activity for Ober, there may be changes to that schedule. Ultimately, bike trails at Ober look like a great time, regardless of your skill level. Look forward to a video from us on the bike trails soon. Next up is something we've mentioned on the channel a few times up to this point. Anakista launches a new mountain coaster and life-side birdhouse experiences this summer. Gatlinburg's Mountaintop Adventure Park is adding exciting new thrills, from mild to wild, for the whole family to enjoy this season. As part of its continued multi-year expansion, Anakista, Gatlinburg's premier adventure park, is unveiling two exciting new additions this year, the Hellbender Mountain Coaster and Bird Venture, an immersive and educational space for children. First, a little about Hellbender. Hellbender is the new, heart-pounding double-rail mountain coaster at Anakista. Named after the salamander species native to the Smoky Mountains, it will offer guests an adrenaline-pumping ride as they navigate a steep mountain incline, sway through tunnels, slither through twists and turns, and take in breathtaking 360-degree scenic views of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. With this new installation, Anakista will be home to a single rail and a new double rail mountain coaster for thrill seekers to enjoy this year. And now for the milder side of the announcement. Bird Venture will provide the whole flock a chance to experience three larger than life birdhouses, a dozen adventure zones, and seven giant serpentine slides winding for more than 50 feet down the mountain. This unique series of slide paths marks another first of its kind in the United States. Each birdhouse is home to three distinct birds, the owl, woodpecker, and bluebird, native to the Smokies. Both Hellbender and Bird Venture are slated to open later this year. And now, this next entry takes a turn from the status quo as it pertains to your typical What's New video, the 2016 Fire Memorial. 
that fire is being made jump over over the Rocky Top community center school. We're actually showing people over. I think Creekside's downtown. This is Mountain Law. As most of you are probably aware, in 2016, the Chimney Tops 2 fire raged down the mountain slopes and entered Gatlinburg, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. Despite the heroic efforts from a multitude of fire departments, police departments, and first responders, official reports show 14 lives were lost, 191 people were injured, 2,500 homes were destroyed, 17,000 acres burned, and it resulted in $2 billion in damages. While not directly affected, if you, like us, feel a connection to the special place, you were likely watching things unfold in those days in dismay. In the years since, the city of Gatlinburg has been working on a memorial for those who lost their lives and were otherwise impacted by the fire. Determining a home for the memorial and other factors have delayed the completion of this memorial. This year, it was finally completed. The memorial now sits at Minot Park off Historic Nature Trail in Gatlinburg. The monuments pay homage to those who lost their lives and those first responders who courageously risked their lives running into the fire to rescue others. No one would disagree that this memorial is long overdue and considering the many losses the victims of this fire have endured in court since the fire, it is great to see some recognition come their way. Beautifully situated on the banks of LeConte Creek, the 2016 Fire Memorial is a great space to sit still, reflect, and remember those who lost so much that fateful day. And now for a change of gears, we head to this neat little business called Painting Around, or Painting Around Knox. Painting Around is a mobile painting, art, and craft experience that will come to you. They set up at festivals and events for as low as $5 a craft. This year, they are official vendors at the popular music and art festival, Bonnaroo. Plus, Painting Around, as the name suggests, is remote, so they can come to any preferred location, including your home, business, or private parties, offering 30-minute craft options. Or you can have a sip and paint class, splatter paint event, and a photographer on call for those awesome photo shoots. This is something we definitely want to take the babies to. And according to the website, it looks like their splatter rooms are at their location in Knoxville. So we might even have to take that trip. A splatter room sounds like an awesome time. Next up, some new grub hit the strip in Gatlinburg at Underdog's Pizza. Underdog's Pizza is located at 334 Parkway in Gatlinburg. According to their website, it offers its patrons New York style pizza and wings. You can start off your meal at Underdogs with some pizza sticks, garlic balls, or boneless chicken nuggets, and finish with one of their large pizzas. They have everything from your plain cheese to a buffalo chicken pie. Currently, Underdogs is open for carryout or dine-in, but the ownership did say that if you're in a hotel nearby, they could do some carryout to you. So stay updated with Underdogs if this sounds like something that you'd like to try. As time goes along, they may have some delivery options available. And now for just a couple quick mentions. Back up on Historic Nature Trail, it appears an Embassy Suites is currently under construction. So if you enjoy staying on Historic Nature Trail, you're about to have a new lodging option. Also coming soon to Gatlinburg is Firelight Rooftop. There are several places in downtown Gatlinburg that provide guests with incredible views with amazing food and drinks. But a new place that offers these things is still exciting. Firelight Rooftop is the newest concept to bring visitors an upscale bar experience. They'll offer signature cocktails, delicious tapas style eats, and much more. As for now, there is no known opening date for the bar in Gatlinburg. We'll provide updates on the channel when they're released. And also, the obligatory mention of Jason Aldean's Kitchen and Rooftop Bar. Not for sure what's going on with that. We've heard several reports about different ownerships and so on and so forth, but look for this place to be open right on the strip by the end of 2023, hopefully. I do want to mention that this is not a comprehensive list of everything that's new in Gatlinburg. For more information, we will link the website to the Gatlinburg Chamber of Commerce in the description of this video. So make sure you go check that out if you're looking for some more information. And that about does it for us here. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.